Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete for the Sony PlayStation. Uh, last time we had just rescued the kids from the Shadow Dragon Cult in the Meridian Sewers, and now we need to head back to Tavin's Peak and talk to Nall because he's still holding Lucia hostage. And you'll notice that the sewers uh, come out the other end in Lund's, Lund's Dojo, which is interesting. Um, I don't think he's still here. So yeah, Master Lun is in the Holy City of Pentagulia right now, but he should be returning soon. I wonder how he'll react when he hears this news. Interesting indeed. Anyway, we're gonna leave because pretty much, uh, that takes care of all the events here in Meridia that I'm, at least for right now. I don't know if we return here later or not. I really can't remember. Anyway, so like I said, we're going back to Tab and Speak. Because the kids were so nice to wait for us. Seriously, what ungrateful little jerks. Go all that way to rescue them, and then they're just like, Oh, we're gonna take off without you. I suppose you guys want to ride in the gondola. You realize that... <laughs> you realize this isn't an amusement park, don't you? Uh, yes, and, uh, yes. Well then, follow me. Yes, please. One ride on the gondola minus the attitude. Is my music lagging? It sounds like it's lagging a bit there. I'm very impressed you rescued all the kidnapped dragon kids. The truth is that I didn't think anyone could save them. It was simple. My hero is a great leader and a master of strategy. My hero? <laughs> You're at least a hundred years too young to know what love is. What are you snapping at me about? My feelings for hero have nothing to do with you. And don't you think that your feelings are more, uh, the most inappropriate for a red dragon? Of all the nerve, listen here and all, because I'm going to call you some very nasty thi- Hey! You called me a red dragon, but I never told you I was one. So how did you know? I, uh, was a lucky guess, that's all. Why don't you all come inside? I have something to tell you. Uh, by the way, have any of you thanked Hero and his friends for what they did? I didn't think so. How many times do I have to ask you to display good manners? Ah, uh, exactly. Thank you all very much for saving us! Uh, yeah, you're welcome, you snot-nosed little brats. You must be very strong to beat up the Shadow Dragon Cult. Aren't you scared of the cult? We want to hear about how you beat them. Please tell us. Calm down, you guys. They can't talk to all of you at once. One question at a time, okay? Null, have you seen Lucia? Nah. Uh, she was just here, so she can't have gone very far. Why don't you go find her and let these kids calm down a bit? Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, don't... Is it this way? No, that just takes us back to the jail cell. Where's the rooftop? Good grief, I was just here not too long ago. I don't know how I could have forgotten the layout already. Is this it? Yeah, that's the door I wanted. not very good. No, um, if my senses are correct, I'm gonna say that's Lucia. Lucia, where are you? Okay, Lucia, we get the point. Honestly, I wouldn't go quitting your day job as Princess of the Blue Star, okay? And you can stop any time now. I think, I think you've killed the baby. It's not making any noise, okay? Oh, hello, hero. You were singing. And not very well, I might add. Yes, these children taught me. I didn't know you had such a good voice. <laughs> okay, Ruby, whatever you say. I bet you're surprised too. That makes two of us. 
Should have known her voice was as beautiful as she is. Yeah, I was surprised, alright, so which one of you Rugrats taught her to sing? I did, I did, oh, so you're to blame. I told her that she can't be a mommy unless she knows how to sing a lullaby. And somehow I'm okay with that. Hey, everyone, who was singing just now? I was, Jean. You're very... <laughs> Alright, can we all stop stroking Lucia's ego? She wasn't that great. Lucia, you were me you were mega-fibbing when you said you didn't know what a song was. The little darlings seem to be very attached to you, Lucia. Or is it the other way around? I only sang because they asked me to, but I continued to sing because I enjoyed it. When I sing, I feel a warmth inside me. It's not like anything I felt before. We should be leaving. Yes, we should. Goodbye, kids. And, uh, I wonder if, where's Nal? I think we need to talk to him real quick before we leave. Is he still out here? Do I have to go back to his... Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Nal, you went to a lot of trouble to rescue the dragon kids from the Shadow Dragon Cult. I swear that I'll find a way to pay you back. Eh... Uh, it, you, you're not okay. Well, I guess you're not going to. Not going to get. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm, I must be missing something because I thought he was supposed to give us something. I heard. Uh, <laughs> I heard that you were headed to the holy city of Pentagulia to find the goddess Althena. I want you to have these before you go. It's the least I can do to thank you for all your help. You bet it's the least you can do. White dragon wings obtained from Nal. This gizmo has the power to transfer you out of any cave and back to the surface. You can use them as many times as you want, and they never run out of magic. Cool, huh? Just remember that they might not work if you're someplace with strange magic in the air. Oh, I almost forgot. I had the dragon kids remove the barricade on the road to Bane. Be careful on your travels, and come back here if you need any more help. Hey, Ruby, try to remember that you're a red dragon. And try to let go of your obsession with Hero. It's not healthy for either of you. Take care, everyone. Well, who asked you, Nal? <laughs> Nal needs to keep his nose out of my business before I bite it off. Come on, here, let's hit the road. Oh, finally we're able to go to Bane. Hey, kid, give me a ride back down. Yes, I'd love a ride. What? No attitude this time? You know, it's not an amusement park, you guys. So, yeah, um, we just picked up the white dragon wings from Nal. Uh, in the first game, those were like a teleportation device that could take you from town to town. Unfortunately, they've been a bit dumbed down in this version. Come on, everybody, we're almost to Bane. Aren't you excited? Now I want to warn you that the city might look a bit run down, but that's just until we get the Magic Guild up and running. And my mother will be very happy when I assure her that I've brought four new recruits. Here, when are we going to tell Lamina that we're not planning on joining the guild? We don't have to tell her yet, Ruby. Uh, I don't want to ruin our chance at checking out Bane. What are you two whispering about? Magic Guild recruits aren't allowed to keep secrets. But yeah, the white dragon wings in this game just teleport you out of dungeons. So essentially they're just, um, they're just like a dragonfly wing, except you can use it as often as you want. So, um, let's go to Vayne. Apparently there's a staircase leading right up to it. In the last game it was floating around in the sky, but apparently not this time around. Lamina! Oh, Lamina, thank the goddess you've come back. We're in big trouble. Big trouble? What are you talking about? Did you lose your purse again? No, no, no. I use a wallet these days anyway. I'm talking about Borgen. He's come to Bane. Borgen? The evil tub of lard with more rolls than a bakery? The very same. He said he had important business to discuss with your mother. We tried to stop him and the group of magici magicians... Magicians? <laughs> he brought along, but they were too strong. They stormed into the mansion of the guild and haven't come out since. Oh no, mother! Oh, what, just, just kick the woman right out of the way? As servants of the Most High Master Borgen, we cannot allow anyone to enter Bane. Borgen has decreed that no one shall enter or leave until he completes his business here. And what business is he doing? Number one or number two? Get out of my way, you morons! Halt! Who are you? He, you don't know who I am? You really are simpletons! I am Lady Lamina, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild of Bane. Now, if you'd be so kind as to get the heck out of my way... Oh, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild? Your title means nothing to us, little girl. Borgen has decreed that none shall enter, and we are here to enforce that, uh, edict? Step back. <laughs> I'm vexed. I'm terribly vexed. 
I know much more about me than you ever will, and I'll find a way to get in. And when I do, I'm going to make sure that you're very, very sorry. Okay, guys, listen up. There's a spring of transmission just to the south of here. If it still works, we can use it to intervene behind the backs of these bozos. If we pull this off, I'll appoint all of you to the Magic Guild's advisory board. Well, hero, do we cast our lot with Blondie? We don't have a choice, Ruby. Lamina, tell us what to do. That's why I like you, hero. You know when to let me take charge of the situation. Alright, everyone, let's head for the spring. Like they say, time is money. Uh, Lamina, could you explain what that saying has to do with anything that's going on here? No, no, she can't. So yeah, no matter how much you try, you are not getting through Bane through the front gate, so as she said, we have to go south to the spring of transmission here. This is actually the same way we had to get in in the first game. Before we talk to that guy, I want to talk to this guy. Hello, friend, I see that we have something in common. We both collect beautiful bromides. You have a decent collection, but you don't have them all yet. Heck, only one, uh, one man ever has. Tell you what, here's a preview. From one collector to another. Come back here and show me your collection every once in a while, okay? Take care now. And Mia's Bromide. If you don't know, Mia was a character from the first game. And there you have her Bromide. Ah, Lamina, I'm so glad you've come to visit. What brings you to the Spring of Transmission? If you wish to use it, I'm afraid it has laid dormant for many years. I doubt that it works anymore. Well, let's find out, shall we? In the days before Galleon, the magic city of Bane floated high above the earth. The only way to get there was via the Spring of Transmission. Fortunately, it still works. We're going to use the spring as our own private backdoor into the magic city. I, Lamina, Junior Premier of the Magic Guild, daughter of Myria, call upon the ancient power. Awaken from your deep sleep and open the pathway to Bane. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ha, ah, mega magical, it worked. Uh, did it? Because we haven't gone anywhere yet. Oh! I guess I spoke too soon. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is the Cave of Trial. In the old days, it was used as an exam of sorts. It separated those who were worthy to join the guild from those who weren't. Anyway, that's ancient history. We need to get moving. But be careful, I don't know what kind of freaks might be lurking in this creepy cave. Alright you guys, on that note, we're going to call the video for today, when we come back, we're gonna go through the Cave of Trial, is that what it's called? I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, I've already forgotten. Anyway, we're going through it next time. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys then.